This is Economy Watch. What you need to know about New Zealand's economic life today. Brought to you by interest.co.nz. Kia ora and welcome to Tuesday's Economy Watch where we follow the economic events and trends that affect New Zealand. I'm David Chaston and this is the international edition from interest.co.nz. And today we leave with news the global economic slowdown is coming but it might not be like every other slowdown. There is more evidence that the giant American economy isn't expanding as fast as previously. First, the National Activity Index released by the Chicago Fed delivered a weakish result for June when it saw little economic growth. And the internationally benchmarked market flash PMI for the US reported a more modest expansion in July. Their service sector is still in a modest expansion and their factory sector's contraction is now only very minor, which is an improvement for manufacturing but a slowdown for the services sector. However, a strong majority of business economists now say the odds of the US entering a recession in the next 12 months are 50% or less, according to this new survey that was taken in the first half of the month. How does all this square with the steep inversions in bond yields? More professional economists are explaining that the yield curve actually signals a slowdown in inflation that typically accompanies a recession, but not the actual recession itself. Without a weak labour market, they may not actually get the usual recession. It may still come, of course. One indicator is that there has been a flurry of junk bond credit rating downgrades recently. They reached a three-year high of 120 in the June quarter. Risky debt is getting riskier, and it is a $1.4 trillion market overall for junk bonds. In Japan, their market PMI recorded a good expansion. Activity at Japanese private sector firms increased for a seventh successive month. Key was a sustained and solid improvement in Japanese service providers, while manufacturers noted a slightly softer downturn at the start of the third quarter, and the survey found that new order growth slowed rather sharply. Singapore's CPI inflation fell from 5.1% in May from a year ago to 4.5% in June, but the May to June rate was uncomfortably high for them. And Taiwanese retail sales continue to hold up strongly, expanding far faster than inflation, but the same is not the case for their industrial production, which remains in a sharply shrinking track. In Europe, their flash PMI signalled a steeper downturn in cooling price pressures at the start of the third quarter. They have slipped back to where they were a year ago. France reported an especially steep downturn and Germany slipped into a contraction for the month. In Australia, business activity in their private sector fell for the first time in four months during July, according to the market PMI. This retreat was due to a renewed contraction in their service sector as interest rate rises hit consumer confidence and budgets. More positively, manufacturing output ticked higher and actually recorded only a tiny contraction now. And the US Treasury 10-year yield will start today at 3.86% and up two basis points from this time yesterday. And the price of gold will start today at $1,959 an ounce and down a mere $2 from yesterday. And oil prices are up $1.50 at just over $78.50 a barrel in the US, while international Brent price is $82.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today a quarter cent higher at just on 62 US cents. Against the Aussie, we're slightly firm at 91.9 Australian cents, and against the euro, up a half a cent at 56 euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index has risen to 69.8 and up 30 basis points from this time yesterday. And the Bitcoin price has fallen a lot from this time yesterday, down 3.5%, and now at $29,046. While the utility over the past 24 hours has been moderate, just over plus or minus 2.5%. You can find links to the articles mentioned today in our show notes. Get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again tomorrow. Tomorrow.